Ahoy, 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 everyone. everyone. How's it going today? Oh my goodness. It's Wednesday. It is. It's. Um, I look over at him like we weren't just completely like hanging out, getting ready for the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wednesday. Oh Here my goodness, in everyone. sunny Oakland. We it took is, down the today. Christmas tree, which was in front of Yay. the front windows. So the entire living room is filled with light now. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was looking pretty. Uh, it was getting. It was dim in there. I'll just say. Yeah, that. I mean, it looked great at night because the tree was awesome. But... Yeah, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm excited for. Um, for there to be light and le and and the tree to be gone. Yeah, and, and we're gonna was nice. hook up the record player too. Oh, goodness. We got it all mm. all planned out. Cheerful, cheerful. Okay. Should we say hi to everyone? Well, just give it us another second just for some people okay. to, to drizzle okay. in. Because I'm going to have some coffee. You should have some coffee. So I am... Um, okay, so we're super excited to be putting together... Sesame na, Street na, na, na. today. We're so putting together super Sesame excited Street. about this. I have to say it's very... It's got a very classy cover like it doesn't even say sesame street on it it's just got the characters i think between sesame street and mr rogers those were my earliest memories of television absolutely i learned my first spanish words on sesame street yes it's true it's true i learned i learned spanish uh some spanish on sesame street some on the electric company because there was some spanish on there too yep um and then i don't know if everybody um uh, I don't know if everybody remembers this, but there was a show on PBS for a long time called Via Alegre, which was all in Spanish and just a little English. And it was kind mm. of a, you know, it, they didn't really have like puppets like Sesame Street, but it was like this whole little town. It's um, a very lively theme song, isn't it? I think that's yeah, the la, only... la, 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 See, that's, that's what I know about that. There you show. go, Monica. You wanted singing. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. You um, know, we wanted to say something at the start um, about how... Um, just come and hang out and have fun with us for the yeah. next like hour, hour and a half. You know, we know it's been a really tough week for a lot of us, and we just wanted to acknowledge that and also say like we wanted to build something fun and relaxing and get away. So hope that you can come and join us today and just like whoosh, chill out, man. Breathe. <laughs> take, take a couple of deep breaths. Oh my goodness. All right. Mm, Record player, coffee. break out the Bethel Merman. <laughs> we are, we have it. We can absolutely do that. Um, so, gosh, let's see what. Um, yes, let's Fraggle Rock people, is though. missed, I believe. Um, oh, Gary Mullane, you're from you're in Ireland. I didn't realize that. Awesome. Well, yeah, let's go. Let's see who's here. Well, hello. Let's say hi to, we have, hi to everyone. We have a lot of international guests. We do. International, it's true, from, which is no, which is us. awesome. Uh, so, Fourth World Adam is here. Aqua Mike TV, Brickanista, hello Naomi. Uh, Chief Brick Geek is here. Chris, Chris still do Lego Jigsaw Chalice. Chalice. I know you've been working on that one for a while. It looks tough. Uh, Darren Siegfried is here. Uh, Debo Bricks, Gary Mullane mm -hmm. again from Ireland. Um, uh, Hooded, Hooded one, one, Joel Marbella, John Latrell, Johnny Cat is here. Monica Berry, Ooh. Moto, oh, J Vo, oh, that's a new name. Hi, yeah, J Vo, that's a new welcome. One. Hi, welcome. Everybody, give a big tricky bricks ahoy hoy to J Vo. Um, let's see, Rob Zaccardi and the Zaccardis, Lana, Vanessa, Wait, and I Elena. Think, didn't we? Good to see didn't ya. we miss? We stopped at Monica Berry. Uh, Mo, I think I said Moto. Oh, really? Oh, sure. well, we can say hey again. You know, I've said Moto so many times in the past like nine months that I don't even know if I've said it like just a minute ago you're, or not. You're motivated. I am motivated for Moto. Um, which is kind of like Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but a little different. Uh, a little it's bit a more little calmer. chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, calmer. Uh, Jake Sadovich is here. Hey, Jake. Um, <clears throat> Shane, Shane LeVan. LeVan. Always good to see you, Shane. The Horn Burgers. Ahoy, hoy, Horn Burgers. Wilfred. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Uh, Zach Martinez. And, and, of course, Kim. Hi, Kim. Sarah Kino. I still don't know what order to say that in. I just say it and whatever. Well, you it's know. in parentheses, right? It is. It is in parentheses. So, but I'm always I just. Mm. Anyway, 
<laughs> Enough about that. Well, as said before, we're glad to be here. We have Disney pins. Today oh, David too. Robinson is here. Hey, Hi, David. David. How's it going? Okay, I'm going to take this um, chance here since Dave Robinson is here. I just wanted to point out, you know, he is, wow, well, he is a Lego enabler and also just very generous. He brought to us, along with wonderful baked goods, um, he brought me this bag of various Technic parts. Look at all of those. Rack Very ears. Very exciting. Brown Technic parts because he knows I'm in. There's a crown gear, a worm gear enclosure. This is so fun and so thoughtful and awesome. Yes. Thank you, Dave. Oh, and also I just want to say, uh, Aquamite TV. No mail today. Haven't been to the. Um, haven't been we to haven't the, really been to the mailbox lately. We're you know we're in super, still kind of locked down here. So we're. But in, in, but the next in the next couple of days, days, we're definitely going. Oh, and thank you, Zach Martinez. So actually, I was going to show my new shirt, which Jessica from Lego Masters got for me for Secret Santa, She was my right? Secret Santa, so it's the awesome Frankenstein Starry Night business. I love it so much. It's so good and so perfect. <laughs> so thank you, Jessica. Uh... And... <laughs> Um, okay, so should we do pins? Yes. We got some new we got some new pins. So Oh we did. Um, I didn't put any I didn't get one of those actually. Oh dear. I'll I'll feature one of those new ones tomorrow. Um so we uh so Paint Pusher and uh Minifig Chick came over the other day and um we got We hung out, out in the parking lot. Yeah, we hung out in out in our the parking lot behind our house and we set up a little table and they had just bought a bulk lot of pens. And so I got a bunch of new ones, which I'm super excited about. And today, because I'm feeling cheerful and want things to be cheerful, I'm going to um I am oops, I am sporting a very Cute Look Tinkerbell. How cute. I love that style. I have a couple of other pins in the same art style. Look, she's on tiptoe with those little cute balls or pearls on her slippers. on her slippers. Yeah, love this. So and, awesome. And I've got an old favorite here, Robin Hood. Right? Look an how old happy. favorite. Very happy. Well, I saw him when I was. I saw that movie when I was really little. I know. It's a, well, they would come around every few years, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it was released in the '70s, so you would have seen it when I it was new. The first time maybe, I bet. Now Tinkerbell's flying over Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <laughs> um, Matthew builds bricks. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Oh goodness, the little cushion on my chair is being uh, difficult. All right. All right. We so, ready? Mm, the continuing adventures of um, of 3D printing. So I know you've been checking out my 3D, 3D printing. Um, I got um, Forest Men is the best Lego theme, says Javo. Yeah, I agree. It's a good one. Although I'm, Monster Fighters is, the, in my opinion, the best. But I do like the Forest right Men there. ones. So check it out, everybody. I've got um, here is some little things that I 3D printed on my he, 3D he printer. He made this one per my request. A silver skull. Ooh, very spooky. Um, so that came out pretty oh, good. Oh, it actually focused. It came out pretty good, right? Um, yeah, I it has did... this iridescent quality because they, you know, because they printed it this way up so it looks all yeah extra shiny that way. And then I did the little dragon that I made before. I know you guys saw the one I did in bronze. Well, this is in the, or copper. This is the silver, all right? He made a silver dragon. Super cute. Yeah, right, Naomi? For being so small, it got a lot of detail in it. And then I spent all day yesterday, like, fine-tuning the machine. Man, it is a, there is a lot to think about. Well, you put it through a bunch of stress tests, right? Yes, and this was the big stress test that I did. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called the Pearl Torture Tower because <laughs> it shows you all of the things that... You do, and then you can go all, check well, it all the things. shows you all the things the printer could do wrong. Right, so you go here and you look at it afterwards and you go, oh, well, did this turn out right? Did that turn out yeah, right? Yeah, is but the it's DNA really clear? Cool, the DNA chain and the, the things. There's only a few little bit of, um, there's only a little bit of things that I need to adjust, it looks like. This came out, this print came out really well, so I'm pretty, I feel pretty good about that. Oh, you know, where's that um, copper thing? Zach Martinez um, came graph. back to the Forest Men. Oh, yes. Um, and I don't know that theme. I'm going to have to check it out. It sounds like it's right up my alley. And I and I did print this the other day. I don't know if I showed everyone this, but 
really well cool. that's another sort of stress test to see if you can print out in open space with no supports right look at that yeah so Woohoo! <laughs> well, Fred, a Robin Hood at Great Men in Tights. Exactly. <laughs> and who was a better Robin Hood than Errol Flynn? Uh, it's true. Um, wow. I can't say enough good about Errol Flynn. And also some terrible things. But he, uh, overall, <laughs> well, <laughs> he was the best. Every, everyone's kind of a mixed bag, right? Oh, Minifig Nick had all my Lego items removed from Redbubble yesterday. The heavy hand of TLG is hunting us Lego fans down. So if anyone has any items, beware. To, uh, oh, my goodness. Well, uh-oh. Sorry to hear that. Well, um, it is their property. I, yeah, so. So they're being assertive. Yeah, they're being assertive about it. Uh, that's fine. Um, um, but, but, uh, but not pleasant, right? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Um, I, I just wanted to stop in and say hi. Furiously working on my hedge hollow project and binging the crown. Well, yes, binge the crown. That is awesome. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, um, I'm caught on this on this other Robin Hood thread too. Chris Chalice says, um, "Do do we know that they do archery wrong in most of the Rob Fire to Bow?" Uh, I, I always never thought have. Ar I always thought archery was cool. I don't think I ever have. Uh, I, I'm glad I just got my green dragon night shield. Oh, there you go from Red Bubble. Well, hey, I think it's time for stickers. What, what time is it? It's time for stickers. Hooray, yes. stickers! Yes, it is. So friends. we decided we'd go ahead and do the stickers. Uh, from from, from this the Sesame set. Street set, so I'm not going to tell you many details because you're going to see the set that it's from right here. It's going to... Look at that. Thanks, Clicky. Thanks for helping us focus. So this is... This is the set. It's got some really great stickers, really some really iconic stuff. Well, the count of counting would be my favorite. Well, the, the count, the count sticker. Well, I'll show you what my favorite sticker is, and I mean, I do love the count, but this one right here, which is the clock, I think, in oh, one of the is. houses. What? That, not, not Snuffy. Uh, well, I like Snuffy too, but that little clock is from the pinball animation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do 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 really really do 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 Peter Max? Peter Max. Thank yes. you. Very Peter Max. So also I wanted you to notice that there is um, on here, we've got um, we've got Snuffy. We've got Guy Smiley. He's, what is he there on the he he's was like doing a game the, show? The game show host. We've got Bert and Ernie. We've got um, I guess that's Elmo with someone. I have to admit I only well, know El it past Elmo a was after my time. Me too. We got the count. We've got a, what looks Ooh, like a food Hoopers. truck. Hooper's Grocery Hooper's Store. Hooper's Grocery Store, and that is a portrait of Mr. Hooper as a, um, oops, which is an as a mini awesome fig. homage. An awesome homage. Biff and Sully are construction workers. Now I don't know this character's I've name. I've seen that character. I've but seen I don't her, know her name. but I don't really know. Yeah. So did someone paint her picture on the wall? Um, it look it looks like like super artsy graffiti. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like to me too. And then there's like a bulletin board. Oh, look! It there's a on the bulletin board. There's Zoe. Those, those, thanks, Fabio Fan. There's these two little guys. They were the ones. That oh, went, it almost beep, did. Beep 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 beep. And they had like they were like tubes oh, really? that moved up and down. I remember yeah, that. they were. There's so lots of little homages to characters that aren't necessarily represented in the set. Um, but yeah, I'm really well. They um, tried to include a lot. I don't know. I'm a fan of stickers. Do we have the wherewithal to do stickers today? Oh, we'll see. I've got the... We oh, have look. our... We've got the Windex. <laughs> um, here, I'll go get some... The Are they called? Yip, 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 yip. Yeah, and they would be a little... Yip, yip, yip. Did they live in the flower... Do I remember that they lived in the flower... Like in the flower box outside of Bert and Ernie's apartment? 
I don't share. Mm. Pescar Bricks said, uh, Brick Set says the most stickers in one set is 300. Which set is that? Hey, Spot the Magic Ninja, how's it going? Dan Bakken is here. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. Great to see you. Um, yeah. Abby is a fairy. Okay. We got our cotton swabs for putting stickers on. Oh yeah, and we do. You have a. Do you have your hanky there to oh, for a little you know, thing? No, I'm all. I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm not fresh out. But, okay. There you go. Um, I should th uh, print a uh, 3D print a, a Lego compatible count head. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. I wonder if you could do that. I don't know. I haven't tried printing any Lego pieces yet. Lego compatible pieces. I've been wanting to. Uh, to print out the big, the extra large Lego flowers. Oh, it's 101 to 1 NBA basketball teams had the most. Oh, stickers. okay, there you go. Oh, and by the way, I wanted you, I wanted to note that that the number of this set is two, one, two, one, three, two, four. <laughs> I guess they already had a one, two, three, four. Whoops. Oops, goodness. Okay. Okay, I have directions over here, so I'm going to be looking at instructions to help pull um, pieces. Oh, look at this wonderful f picture. Here, I'm going to go to the um, top cam. Look at this wonderful photo. I love this. Um, oops, that's us. <laughs> How did you know that I would oh, do that? I see. There we go. There we go. What a great... Um, now I don't recognize this character. She may be a more regional, um, original character, or but more that's recent really cool. than us. Yeah. Hey, Patrick Wismer is here. How's it going? Um, I thought oh, I saw I'm Alyssa start... was here earlier. If I missed you, Alyssa, hi. I'm gonna start separating bricks. Um, this is the fan design Didn't Guerrero, of this? who did the fan design. Now I want to note that. Um, and here is Ollie Gregory and Crystal, who we know um, from past sets. Uh, Crystal uh, worked on all the stickers. We've sometime. been trying to get talks with Crystal, but um, Holly's been on that bird. So if we can get Big Bird's pieces over well, here. Well, um, I'm a little, let's see, I'm not quite separated yet. Mm. Uh, buffering, see, huh? Yeah, I don't know. I am getting some, uh, I will say I am getting some dropped frame uh, business. Uh-oh. But, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. Um, I'm not sure what to do about that. On both devices, um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, my entire, my job's email is, or uh, internet is completely down today as well. Yeah. I'm going to imagine that there's a lot of stress on the internet right now. People are checking things People out. People are checking things out, and it is likely that, um, yeah, that that's a thing that's happening. Okay, well, you know, we could just throw caution to the wind here and start building without them fully separated. We're just going to go see your pants productions. Sure, but how about we get that, that uh, Big Bird minifig, and we can get started Oh, I here. see just a fig. Yeah. Um, and there's got to be a body. Let's see. There's some big wings. Awesome. I don't know if everybody's saying that there's buffering. I'm seeing a little bit of dropped frames, but not like anything major. So I'm not quite sure. Un unfortunately, when that starts happening, there are no buttons we can click that improve it. It's just right. the connectivity, right? Yep. It's it's the connectivity of the, of the <laughs> thing. Debo bricks back in back in one to twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. All right. Um, I'm going to lower the brightness on this just a little bit because, my golly, that's certainly blown out. Um, okay. So we've got our um, our big bird minifig. Now, you'll note that his, um, that his head and body um, are like that rubber, sort of like, like, like rubbery like friend's hair is. Got right? it. All right. So I'm gonna. And that does that include the arms? Like, could you use those arms decoratively anywhere else, or they wouldn't be able to attach? No, they as long as a minifig arm could attach into it, it could attach into something for sure. Right. Hey, we um, get a teal clicky too. Oh, a teal clicky, and I love Big Bird's orange and pink stripe. I always loved his legs when I was a kid. He had those like those little rings, you know, around yeah. his legs. So there we go. There's our first minifig of the pants. set. Um, uh oh, maybe the uh, maybe the 
buffering is past now. Yeah, I think we are. I think we're past buffering now. Okay, so I see um, um, we've got... It makes the beak less dangerous for feet. Yes, it's true. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to see... Oh, we've got four... Yeah, I'm just going to the bags here. We've got this. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out this, because I know there's some longer pieces in this sort of separate bag here. Yeah, and including, including the first that piece that we need. right there. I'll keep the bigger pieces over here, and then we can sort of sort them out. And I need two of those. Is there a second one of the of that? Uh, possibly right up there. I'm looking for another. Yep. Oh, just one. And a two by four. There you yep. go. All right. Da 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 da. Imperial. Are, are we missing a bag by any chance? Um, I have a quarter round. Yeah, it's right tile. here. No, the quarter round tile that goes. Oh, the macar a macaroni tile. The macaroni tile, exactly. Have you checked in there? Oh, look at that. It may well be in there. See? So I know we're having a curve piece here. Now I know there was some talk, um, some chatter. Um, hey, Sarah Star Bricks, how's it going? Good to see you. Um, oops, I put that on wrong. Um, I know that there was some chatter when the when the set first came out from older builders um, who remembered uh, sort of the the who remembered Sesame Street differently because they did a big redesign of the set uh, somewhere around, I want to say 2002 or something like that. And they switched things around. They switched which side of the apartment building that Oscar the Grouch is on. So I know oh. people were like, why is Oscar on the wrong side? Um, well, a cool why. thing about Lego is you can rebuild it. It is, and right? I was talking about wanting to kind of do um, an expansion of this mock, which I've, n which I've never done before, an, a mock expansion. But I thought it would be fun to, I think I've talked about this before, redo this as the vintage-style Sesame Street um, with some, adding some more buildings onto it, making some Gordon and Susan minifigs. Oh, that would be cool. Um, and Bob and Luis and Maria. Oh, I miss the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, now it's making me miss it. Um, well, fortunately, they were all taped. It's well, true. Well, at least a lot of them. Well, you know, taped. HBO owns all that stuff now. Oh, so which we is could, funny. could we actually go and watch Sesame Street? Yes, we could actually go and watch Sesame well, Street. Or at least you used to be able to. How about a gold, uh, another gold grill? Oh, no, it's just a gray grill. There's a gray Silver grill. Silver gray grill. There's a bear grills. I think this one's not supposed to be the gold one. I think it's just supposed to be just regular uh, there's not gray. A, there's not a bling. Oh, there's not? All right. No, I mean, there's 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 a bling showed on this one here. Mm-hmm. But I can't tell. Is that, there is one on that's each. That's the one on the one that has the one by... Yep. So I don't think guy. that's gold. I think that's no. also silver. This is gold. What? No, they're both but, silver. They're both but silver. But are they shiny silver? It doesn't look shiny. To it's me. just this same color. I'll I take think. your word. Oh, here, look, these guys. There you go. I see. Bling worthy. Yes, they have little. They they're like the light, like the pearl silver. <laughs> All right. More things. Okay, I think you're getting ahead of me now, so I'm gonna quickly try and catch up. No, that's okay. You always catch up. I do always catch up. And you've got a big plate over I there. I really enjoyed building too. this set. Need to expand it, though. I'm not happy with Mr. Hooper's store. What is it about Mr. Hooper's store that you find unsatisfactory, Joel? I want to know this so that when I get to it, like I... Not am... enough detail. Okay. So all that stuff we were making before is under structure. And I'm going to go ahead and... Now, normally I would advocate for hammer time, but I think we're doing all right on this one so far. Yeah, well, we have that mallet that's maybe oversized <laughs> for what we need. For this particular one, yeah. yeah. But I use it a lot on the Twitch stream, so. Um, Mr. Hooper's store points at a weird angle. All right. Oh. Got it, got it. I hope LEGO releases some of the flags, or some of the figs in 4 Plus sets. I would. It would be a shame if only adults can get them. Um, it would be, maybe the, you know, if we're lucky, what I'd love to see happen is that, um, that they do, and I don't think this will happen, but, um, that they would do a minifig, um, like a CMF 
set. You know what I would that would include to see? other that would include other characters like Super Grover and you know that sort of thing. So you know how we have micro right. figures now, right? It's like the the tiny version of the Friends dolls. Yeah. Well, I wish they made macro figures where they did things like Grover and Ernie and Bert, uh, Fabuland style. With big giant heads. With big giant heads. That well, would be so fun. Their heads are kind of bigger than a normal minifig head in this one. Well, yeah, they make me think of the Simpsons. Yeah, figures. yeah. I think this might go up a little bit more. Okay, and do we have we have another mm -hmm. one of these? It is Please great like having this. this set of your own no, personal no, instructions. Well, no secret, I'm a fan of the digital instructions, which I wouldn't think. Right, that I'd want to look at yet another screen, but it's so handy. I'll say. Wait for the Duplo version. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of that. I, if well, you have the Grandpa CMF minifig, it works really well as Mr. Hooper. Oh, Joel, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Um, uh, I really want to get this set, but I'm a little disappointed that it is too advanced for my five-year-old to build with me. Oh, oh yeah, right. yeah, I can get that. Oh, that's a bummer. It does, it's funny, isn't it? It seems with the packaging and the art and everything, it seems to be aimed at an older audience that, you know, that grew up with Sesame Street. Right. Right, it's less of a playset. I, well, it's, I mean, it's still a playset. I just think it's, you know, it, it's, it's obviously together. hitting that, because who's going to be buying this? It's going to be the parents for the kids, right? Right. Okay. Little macaroni I child. I feel like I'm missing something here, like a one by three. A one by one. one. And hey, these I'm guys. psyched about my um, the work, the progress I've made on my um, square challenge. You want to talk about the the challenge that's going? Oh, on? Oh yeah, so we know we're doing the uh, it. We've we've well um, dubbed it the hip to be square challenge from uh, that was Naomi's, um, idea. Naomi's idea, and we have got. Um, so the idea of the challenge is that you're going to build something using only square or rectangle bricks and plates. Wait, so like, no specialty pieces, no slopes, this no counts. curves. This counts. Um, you can include a minifig, How about but this? the main part of the build, that doesn't, doesn't count. Doesn't count. Nope. Nope, that doesn't count. Right, but this counts. If you want an arch, you need to build it out of plates or bricks. Yeah. And, um, and no hinges either, right? Because that would in, introduce angles. Yep. And then there's, uh, there is a, uh, I just put up the article today on the website with the link to where you can upload your photos. And those are all due tomorrow at 5 p.m. PST. There you go. Um, okay. Right? Wait, and I think then, I feel like I skipped something. I'm like on, all of a sudden, there's a lot of I'm more on bricks. Step thirteen. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, no, this well, is it. Step thirteen. One of the oh, well, I big see. Bricks. We're missing. We have this big one. We need a long two by n brick. Yes, this one. Wait. I'll bet. I I like calling them two by n. It makes me feel like I'm using algebra. Wait, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it goes. This goes here. This is a little confusing. They put all the gray plates down at once, and it made it a little confusing. Here, I'm going to use this space down here. Oh, my goodness. I still am not putting this on right. There we go. Yeesh. And then another big plate. Like this. All right. I love that they're using, like under the sidewalk, we're getting lots of colorful, like super, super colorful bricks. Um, oh, I need to turn this around so it's facing the right direction. No, that's that's just purely to make the set more fun, right? Yeah, I think right, because no one's ever going to see these colorful bricks. No, and you know it's very in keeping, of course, with with Sesame Street yeah. for it to have colorful, you know, business underneath. Well, that's nice. Here. If you have a chance to make something more fun, why not take it? Right? Yeah, for sure. I, that's what I always say. Junior Harry Potter, hello, welcome. Um, oh, we need this. The main draw with the set for me is Oscar the Grouch. I need his head <laughs> to put a BB-8 head on it to make it BB the Grouch. <laughs> I am here for that. That is awesome. Um, now, did there... Oscar the Grouch have a relative? I thought I remembered. He has a sister, I believe. 
um, whose name is escaping me at the moment, but maybe but some I clever person out the there in the way, chat. Way back machine, a relative of Oscar the Grouch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a sister. I could be wrong, but I thought there was, I thought there was a sister will know. involved somewhere. Um, okay, so awesome. Well, We're gonna do gonna this. this on. Oops, sorry there. That's all right. A one by four plate. Oh. It and a curve so they're doing a good job i actually i'm i like seeing this because i feel like this is um there's a whole world of grouches through the trash can that's right oh <laughs> that's right um see we need to watch more sesame street it, clearly um well you know what i used to always love too was that there was the guy who always was carrying the pies and he would fall and the pies would go all over him yeah i can't remember if that was sesame street or electric company uh, well, it's all, I was pretty young. But yes, it was time. always. And then and there you were lots still of, love that. There were lots of how tos too, right? Very slapstick. Like, yeah, I actually I laugh out loud when so, not not those videos where people fall down and hurt themselves, but any time in a comedy that someone falls down, I am almost sure to laugh out loud. Yes, it's true. Almost always. Um, okay, so so interestingly enough, I will say right now that it feels like this needs more um strengthening it is like when i when i press down here it is a little bit flimsy so yeah. that may be something um that we that i check out um well fortunately that'll be easy to add well a little bit later so check it out we've got this we've got the clip here with two with a snot piece on one end or a headlight brick actually that has the open back and then um this the little bracket, right? The new, the new little bracket piece, newer little bracket piece. And bracket. we built in these two by two plates that have Oops. a smooth end side on one end, and so when you go to put this down, it will connect onto the holes, but the part where the clip is won't have any. Oh, so it doesn't matter that they're not in system. Exactly, oh. and it also doesn't matter that there would be because if there were studs under there, this clip wouldn't fit on there. Yep. Um, yep. And yeah, and it has to be brought back, and it needs to work in system because of how this is slightly off. The yep. hole in this is not exactly right center. Well, that's cool. So there you go. A little bit. That. <laughs> you probably spent the better part of a day coming up with how to do those three bricks. Uh, I don't know. You know but maybe they're I, just actually, master builders I'll bet you and somebody. Like, yeah. I bet you it took done. somebody like five seconds. They're like, oh, we'll do this. No. Am I revealing anything? Because it would take me a while <laughs> to come up with that solution. Uh, goodness. Well, I don't know. I really like your square challenge. Um, I'm unfortunately not going to yeah, probably hope, get to the square challenge because I've got like some it. Well, I stuff spent going a whole on, but day on it. I, I you worked did. on it all Saturday. You, you spent the whole the whole day on Saturday. And then I just have some more stuff on how to... I have some very clear ideas how I want to present it. So I'm looking for another one of these panels and a another one of the brick bricks. Thank you. A little profile. There you thing. go. Oh, uh, Lisa Head is here. How's it going? Hey, Lisa. So good to see you. Um, let's see. Oh, Monica Berry's won, uh, won one of Corey's Bragos. Very oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Very nice. We have a, a bat he made, um, you know, commemorating our, our, our haunted first, house build. Yeah, our episode one piece. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it I, does you know, feel a I little, like that haunted house build. Blend. I'd like to revisit the haunted house build. We could redesign it. You yeah, know, we it's absolutely not the same could. thing. Absolutely could. That would be fun okay. and and maybe take a few months to build it. <laughs> yes. Is there a purple brick? And a purple brick. And it looks right. like a blue brick. A blue brick there is. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is that blue? Did you this is one of the mini blues. Yeah, this is. I think this is dark azure or azure. I've I've heard it said. I say multiple azure. Ways. But I, I say don't azure, know if that's and right. who knows if that's right. I think maybe you skipped uh, uh, step eighteen. Oh really? Here, let's see. I might have. Okay. But you have everything you need now. Yeah. Yeah, because I got excited about about pre-building this. Oh, I need one more dark red cylinder. I didn't do it. There you go. Well, I just remember, um, I just remember Oscar the Grouch had the pet 
inchworm that hung out. Oh, with yeah. Would he, like, go along the rim of the can? Yes. That was yes. a fun little rod puppet. Yeah, well, you know. Um, what was his name? Glinchy? Oh, wait, no. No. No, go. I've got Galador on the brain. Glinchy. <laughs> Who was it who just that may posted? Be a, the, was it Jake Sadovich posted a, a rebuild, terrifying, yes. a terrifying rebuild of of our hero from Galador? I mean, bless Nick Bluetooth. What was the other name we came up with? I, I don't remember. He had it. We came up with some sort of ridiculous, ridiculous name that I'm sure computer, no one would find funny but us. Computer technology name. Um, Nick Bluetooth. Indeed. <laughs> Is there another one by one uh, plate? Uh, of what color was that? Uh, uh, that dark tan. Yeah, that no, it's that nougat, 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 nougat color. Nougat, like what's inside of Three Musketeers? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Substance to be found nowhere else on Earth. We've been watching. Slimy. That's right. Slimy was the name oh, of the inchworm. Cool. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. So there's that. Wait, I keep making these nifty no, that's little that piles. No, that can't be right either. That doesn't look right. Nope, there's... I know there's not going to no, leave there's a brick a, there's hanging a, out yeah, right in the there. middle of nowhere. No, you um, need a support on it. Maybe I love this color of purple, Here. by the way. Wait, I'm adding this. I love this color of purple. A raft. You've been doing too much 3D printing. That's or you've been hearing too much about 3D printing. No, I'm kibitzing. <laughs> I come in, he's, he's been doing like six hours of troubleshooting. And I come in and I say, have you tried to do this? Yes, Richard. Yeah, it's always, that. that's always fun. Is there another, <laughs> is there another arch? <laughs> uh, well, what kind of arch? Here, this here we go. Arch. Here we go. Um, very cool. Lana had slimy in her daily brick build yesterday. That's oh, awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, here we go. Hmm. You know what? Um. You know what we've been watching? What have we been watching? It's sort of um more a show for grown-ups, but we've been watching Buffy, and really enjoying it. We have. You mean Sabrina? Or not, not Buffy. Oh my god, I said Buffy. I meant Sabrina. Okay, you need to... We've it's been, time to go. We've been watching It's Sabrina. time to go. I think maybe... How about some coffee? I don't know. You know what? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think Sabrina would win in a super battle against Buffy. <laughs> because she could just, like, you know, zap her to another plane or something. I can't with you right now. <laughs> Sabrina. Yeah, there's a new se new and final season of Sabrina uh, on on Netflix. So had to we've been checking that out. You know, I gotta say these black pages like Buffy the Teenage Witch. These black pages get um, fingerprints on them. It's very very interesting. Um, all right. Yeah. Hey, he, Alex says the the fantasy lore people want their cool card back <laughs> he yeah. gave that up a long time ago <laughs> stop it stop now you're just you now you're just being mean <laughs> oh dear this is what we've come to we promised you a day of calm and here we are just like insulting everybody Wait, Star Wars. Is that the one about the little wizard boy? <laughs> oh, well, bless Ron in, Swanson. In essence, it is. In essence, yes. I mean, yes, he, it is. He's a space wizard, <laughs> but he's a wizard. What's your favorite episode of Buffy? Oh, it's kind of the one that um, everyone picks. It's kind of the one that everyone picks is Hush. It's such a good one. It's terrifying. It's terrifying and amazing. It's really, that's a pretty scary... Um, Orange two by foe. two. Okay, what step are the we on? The gentlemen. Here? Yeah, the gentlemen are pretty scary. Although they look just like the guys from Dark City. They're pretty yeah. much the same thing, which was interesting. Um, uh, oh, the music one once again with fe once more with feeling that episode. Yes, see, I almost said once again. Here, listen to me. 
Um, I'm the one who mixes. Listen names to up. me. <laughs> oh, a little flower. I think is what's going on. There. Oh, what color is that flower? Uh, what? I don't know. Flint. I don't know. What do you think? It looks well, to, to me, me. It looks to be coral. <laughs> I don't think it's good. Coral. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. I didn't know which one it was. I should write, <laughs> write that down. But yes, it is. Well, we know what's exciting about that. That means there's that color flowers oh. now, which is awesome. Flint, I may have mixed our coffees up. I, see. Mm, I don't know. Is yours sweet? Yeah, it tastes like it. Okay. Ah, they both are. Just like I like it. Okay, so there are two of all of these. So we need another corner tile and another single tile and another one by four. Okay, I'm going to go back a step, back to 23. Yeah. Probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> but only one of those. <laughs> oh, no. Are we having a gravity storm? Yeah, it's okay. We have those every now and then. I knocked it off with my big arm. Okay. Um, and one more one by one nougat tile, please. A nougat. Okay. And there's probably another one of these as well. Those. Oh, wait a minute now. This doesn't look right. Something is not right here. Well, good. I get to go ahead. Because this, I believe, is actually here. This? Yes. Yes. All right. I think this is correct. Now. Hey, we get one of these in that awesome color. Double jump plate. Oh, and the nougat? Oh, yeah. I love those double jump plates. Those things are awesome. Yeah. All right, there we go. Wait, Lego made ladders, like pull-out ladders? Yes, there is. Um, it, it is. Uh, there is a pull-out ladder from, uh, from early uh, fire truck. Right? You mean just like the telescoping with the truss on the sides of it? See, that's what I'm saying. I think I mixed up which one I put sugar in. Oh my there goodness. We go. Okay. Kind that's cold. That's, that's better, right? Yes. <laughs> 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 kind of cold, but you know, we do what we can. All right. It's a feature. <laughs> it certainly is. It's halfway to iced coffee. All right, so what am I doing here? I think Gramps got to put on his glasses. Yeah, I think you're back at step 25, right? So I am on st step 25. Bricks down there. Okay, so here. Well, it's colorful, but it's not. We're not in super fanciful land yet, right? This is all foundational. Correct. That is correct. Okay, so this guy. And then one of these. Yeah, see, I think this part of the model might be a little less interesting to a five-year-old. I gotta say, I miss, I miss, um, oh boy. You lost your... Yeah, I did. I have lost some. What, do you want some help? Because I'm yeah, just barreling ahead putting I, things out. I feel like I missed out on something. Okay, let's go back to step, like, 21. So this should be here. This... Is back here, like this. Yeah, look. Okay, here. Step t step twenty three. We've got. You don't oh. have this one on yet. No, this this goes against this. Against it. Yeah, the arch goes right against the other arch. Well, then so where there's does... a problem with that. Yeah, there is. It's supposed to be. I think we're gonna have to go back. Okay. We're going back, everyone. I know you're shocked. Okay, look at step 20. Okay, so this goes here, like this, and then this is supposed Are to you be sure? next to it. Like oh, that. Oh, because it's one over, right. So that's out of its way. Now... That's 21. All of this is over one, one brick. I mean, one stud. So I should be able to just pop these up like this. There we go. And That's what I'm talking about. And then all the other business goes over. Thanks, Clicky. You got to give that one eyes. Yes. There we go. All goes over one. Elementary, my dear Watson. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna Here. barrel ahead there we go. pulling bricks. Yay! Fixed. So that's 24, 25. It's easy. Now, see, other people would have edited that out, and we just left it in see, because there's no, there's no shame. This is the way it is. There's no shame in going backwards. Yep, sometimes you gotta um, build, which took me a long a brick, time brick? to get okay oh. with. To go here? A brick brick? Yes. A profile, like in Tanner Nougat. Nougat, please. Thank you. That's really not its name, is it? What? Nougat? Nougat? I think it is. But I could be, I mean, you know, it's... Is it? I think so. Oh, hey, Marilyn. Marilyn's here. Hi, Marilyn. Yeah, Marilyn. Um, I feel you on that. We can. We, we decided we're just going to focus on building this Sesame Street set right now. Which is... I'm which so which glad you're, you're here. Because we all need to... Come and play where everything's a okay. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Okay, we're on step twenty-eight. Ooh, right? there's a spider web. You know, I'm here for that. Okay, here's a spider web. There's a spider web. Yeah. So now we are on to step twenty-eight. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right. No, I got it. And a spider. Darren, this is the way. It is. Oh, you're right. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for reminding us. Oh, are it's we? That, we're probably we're past, past time. time, aren't we? We were just barreling along here. Well, I think what we got a little... We got sidetracked when things uh, went, went awry. awry. I like calling it Ari. I know that's not right. I used to... Before I learned it, I used to call it Ari. Well, you know, I think it's good to know that even Sesame Street has a spider problem. <laughs> The spiders are friendly. Indeed. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't know. I, I almost called our friend back prematurely. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, everybody, it is that special certain time of the day. As if on cue. And making everything hey. further A OK, it's Logan. There you mm. go. All right. Good boy. Logan's been so awesome through all of this. Like, he just doesn't care. Yep. He's like, whatever. Okay, just give me pets and we're, cookies. We're restarting. Can you catch it? Good Yay, boy. We're restarting Logan. obedience class because he hasn't been around other people since last March. What a good boy. Yay, so it's easy Logan. to let him get away with everything. Logan, cookie time. <laughs> Wow, I well, just realized actually... that was the wrong that was the wrong thing. Oh well. Here, you can have a sticker set. Yeah, I'll tell you. So I got I'll have to tell you, I got up this morning and I started doing my um uh my work, and this is the second time this has happened now. Excuse me a minute. Absolutely. This is the second time this has happened now. Um that my awesome little guy here, this little stream deck thing has lost all connections to, um, and I had to reset everything. And I was desperately resetting it before, right before the show. So sorry about that. Uh, but here we go, just because we couldn't miss out on this. <laughs> so, <laughs> had to have that up there. Yeah, and when I went to reset it, I put the wrong animation on the, on the wrong button. Sorry about that, everybody. There you go. Oh my goodness, that was so confusing. I know, I'm, I'm sure confused. everyone's just, they're leaving in droves. The numbers are going down to below well, zero. We'll have to make some Logan stickers. <laughs> we'll have to make more Logan stickers. It's true. Okay, so here we Look, go. we're back to here. We're back to, we're back to this. Here, I'm going to put Big Bird in there for right now. He's hanging out with the spiders? Yep. Um... Oh, Zach, I'm so glad. Yeah, I, I wish we could hear it from this end because it always makes me happy when I do hear it. But yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so sorry, that one got messed, a little bit messed up. And it's funny because I wasn't even looking at the screen. I was like waiting for Logan to come. So thanks for letting us know because I wouldn't have known otherwise. Oh, you mean you mean the first one was stickers as well? Yes, they both were. They were. It was there was the wrong thing <laughs> on the wrong thing. Well, Logan did not miss his cue. He did not. All right. You do a great job with those. I just, yeah, that was last-minute programming. I haven't done too bad. 
I haven't done too bad so okay, far. Okay, past our little spider pal. So we're on 29. No, I always put the windows in. Okay, here you go. Yeah, I don't For want some to reason, deny you right that. There. Um, and then we need a one by two um, plate. So I just say, oh, I just want you to notice in. that we are doing some sideways building here. We are going to use this snot piece. Um, oh, a one by two tile or plate? It's a, a tile. plate. Oh, it is a tile. You're right. It is a tile because there of course. Um, so and after saying that, I always put the windows crumbs. in. That one isn't going in for whatever reason. There we go. All right, so just so check this out. We've got our window. We're going to put a tile on one end. Oh, we're All building right. sideways. And then there it, we're going to put this snot piece in here, and it's going to exactly fit right here. Look at that. It's the spider window. Pretty awesome. It's so the um, spider can see out. Beaker gang here. Oh, Beaker. <laughs> Mm. Who's your favorite Muppet? Wow, that's a tough one. That's favorite, a tough one, Alyssa. A, a good question Muppet. and tough. That is a that's a tough call. I don't know. I like Animal a lot. I gotta say. Well, you know, I think people get. Uh, um, I mean, yes, the the because the Sesame Street characters are in fact Muppets. Um, although they are not on the Muppet Show. I don't know. I think really Grover is my favorite Muppet of all of them. He's so carefree and fun and weird. He's just a monster without a care in the world. Yes, if you're right? yeah. So if you're talking, if you're talking like Sesame Street character Muppets, then I would say the Count. And if you're, um, <laughs> of course you fine, would. Or Cookie Monster. Actually, I love them both. Um, I like Cookie Monster before. He learned Before proper he was cool. grammar. Well, I was, he, he you know, knows proper grammar In the now. shower, I was thinking about that. And I was thinking about how, yeah, like, um, thing, how things have changed. We were talking about them doing the set change. But also, um, yeah, Cookie Monster used to say me. Me don't understand why Cookie Monster no say me no more. Right. <laughs> 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 well, I guess it makes sense if it's an educational show. You want to teach people proper grammar, but he was yes. just so charming. Now, now if you're talking Muppets, Muppet Show Muppets, then that would be I don't know. You know, I was a big I'm a big fan of Sweetums. Um, yeah. And what am I lost I'm on trying here? to think like what, there we what go. else? Then we need one more of those. I, I like Gonzo. Oh yes, and he eats vegetables now. I don't know. He's Cookie Monster. Come on. Um, how about, how about kale chip? <laughs> <laughs> He's kale chip it's monster just, now. It's just the same. <laughs> Who known Flynn would get technical with? Is it a Muppet show? Muppet? Well, I just want to. I because if we get to, if we count the reason I said that is because if we count them separately, then I get to pick more favorites. Right. <laughs> if we combine sense. them as one, then it's too hard. Right, because my I, head will explode. I doubt Miss Piggy ever made it to Sesame Street, right? <laughs> the what? Miss no. Piggy never made it to Sesame Kermit Street. Kermit was the only is the only there. real cl crossover character. Yeah. So oh yeah, that's right. Fraggle Rock is also so who's your favorite Fraggle Rock Muppet? There's so many. <laughs> my favorite Muppet is the Skeksis. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a very me thing to say. I've got to say that. Um, so, yes, it's absolutely true. Um, well, we've already said on the show that, that that new version of Dark Crystal is pretty cool. Oh, and hey, Jetfire2000, how's it going? Welcome. I'm sorry. I, know, I think you've been in here for a little bit and haven't said hello yet, but hello. Good to see you. Um, all right. Oh, the dog from Storyteller. Oh, yeah, the dog from Storyteller that looks very, like Skittles. Very floppy, right? But big. Yes, it was a completely, it was a total Skittles style. Okay, uh, that dog. dog or the Dorse. Okay, just stop. <laughs> just, no. I'm sorry. There was also, I'm sorry, everyone. Wait, there was also, what is it, Boxy. Remember Boxy from um, Battlestar, Battlestar Galactica? Galactica? Yep. I thought he was a Daggett. He was a Daggett. So he was like a, a dog robot. A dog robot. And that's the word they came up with. Daggett. Yep. I guess it sounds, guess it sounds better than Dogot. What? I'll be right back in a couple of centons. <laughs> 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 
Because centons are so different from seconds. It's true. Well, at least they would probably be metric, right? Parsecs. Centons. What? That's distance. Parsecs. That, yes, I know. I'm just, I'm just but saying But a parsec words. has got to be less than a light year, right? I know that it is. I'm not sure how much. Okay. Are we on step 33? I am getting the stairs installed here. Now we've got our little front steps. And I'm moving on to 34. Okay, good. We're in the right spot. Dark green. Hey, we're coming down to the end of this bed. Awesome. Then we can get started on another one. That's awesome. All right. Gold. And we're going to put that here. Oh, and there's a... Oh, look at this dark red yep. container. Oh, I have a bunch of these in brown, but this is awesome. Dark red crate. Love that. Okay. And here. Now, do those have... Why am I not thinking of what the lid of these things look like? The lid of what things? These crates. They don't really have a lid. Doesn't it not seem like it's lid. designed it does. to you can fit one? I believe you can fit a plate on top of that. Oh, that makes sense. Right. Sure, of course. Yep. Um, if anybody is interested in some history about Muppets, the Jim Henson bio by Rain J. Jones is fantastic. Oh, oh awesome. Oh, cool. What's your favorite Muppet movie? The original. Always. What, okay, it will so always be the original. What's the one that starts with him playing a banjo? In that's the original, the Muppet yeah, movie. Yeah, that's the one. And uh, does he also ride a bicycle in that He rides one? a bicycle, which at the time was one of the most difficult things they had ever done um, with a Muppet, is to have him ride the uh, to ride the bicycle. Yeah, that well, was really what hard. was it we saw? We, we saw that other show where they actually had Kermit's um, banjo. They found... Kermit's banjo. That's right. I don't, I, was that um, was that that Disney? It was that Disney show where the guy goes around and finds the finds props. props, and then he reconnects those props with the actors who used them so many years ago. Yeah, it was that was amazing. The Mary Poppins one was my favorite. That was such a that was so cool. No, we're coming up on Elmo. Oh, Max dear. in bag number two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't say that. And after look, I spit look all how over. Happy he is. Well, of course, I'm old enough, and probably a lot of people here are old enough to remember the tick, the tickle me Elmo craze that went, that had like parents like, you know, going ballistic at the well, store okay. trying to get one for their kid. Okay, and, tickle you know, me like... Elmo was a lot cuter than Furby, though. Oh. Furby was terrifying. Oh, Furbies are terrifying. Um, oh my goodness. What is it? Hello, everyone. I bought this set with. With points, love Cookie Monster. <laughs> Cookie Monster is pretty awesome, I must say. All right, so are these our extra pieces here? I think those are extra pieces. Very good. I love that we get two extra of those corner, those quarter round tiles. It would be hard, nougat. hard to make a leftover piece mock out of three tiles, a one by one, and a flower. Here we go. Okay, here we go. And here. Here's that old sound, potato chips in a movie theater. That's why I move, I just move it away from the microphone. From the mic. You know. Okay, so there's a, there's a question. Elmo, I, I feel, I, you know, I'm sure Elmo is not that bad. Like, he's just... What? He's wonderful. He's sweet and... But see, to me... Not sarcastic. Ooh, look at this. I don't think nice Elmo one, is two, sarcastic. Three. Um, printed brick. No, he's not sarcastic, but he. Um, well, I mean, I, none of the Sesame Street characters are except. I gotta Oscar. say, he sort of usurped Grover, which I am not here oh. for at all. Um, that was to me. Well, I one his thing I greatest about, offense. See, <laughs> one of my benchmarks, one of my benchmarks for utter enthusiasm is running in with your arms waving over your head, Kermit that's, style. That's. Kermit, Grover and does Grover. that as well with yeah. their spindly arms. Do you remember when, um, here you go, there Thanks. was that book. We need more bowls, Gro I think. The Grover book, the monster at the end of this book. And then it turns out it was like him in the end. <laughs> very, very funny. I love that. Ooh, we got some good pieces here. I got some, uh, just going to show you a couple of the little pieces I'm pulling out here. I got a pink heart tile. I've got one of those jewels from the Dots sets. Uh, um, that's really cool. There's a, several of those. We've got some windows in here. 
Ooh, telephone, telephone receiver. Um, if anyone is looking for sorting containers, Target has affordable ones for $2 for a pack of three or a pack of four, depending on size. Wow. wow. Very good. Oh, there's a goldfish bowl. Oh, you have four of them? <laughs> um, oh, those Furbies are like... Well, they had a they had a hole in their head for the ultrasound ultrasonic sensor or something. Well, I mean, can which we made them look like some kind of weird cyclops alien. But can we talk about um, oh, what was the other ones? Well, not Tamagotchi, because Tamagotchi. No, Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Rux. I had a friend who um, took everything off the Teddy Ruxpin except the like plastic robot parts. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, so I don't know what I was saying about uh, about. I just feel like he kind of usurped Grover, and I love Grover, and I don't know. I get, I because th they're kind of similar-ish looking. Um, well, Grover's a lot bigger than Elmo, right? Elmo. Yeah. Elmo's, isn't well, Elmo Elmo's supposed to be like a child? Yeah. So, but you know, still. He's so immature. <laughs> 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 oh yeah it's okay elmo we love you oh guess what we get our first sticker our first what, sticker. A sticker uh oh so you're gonna have to get out your sticker supplies now we're not gonna do uh you don't have to do the sticker like in the camera well i'll i'll do it in um, this little corner over here but now okay here we go so what we're doing is we're now going to apply the mr hooper tile uh, sticker to the white two by two tile that we're looking for. White two by two. Okay. Oh, I need a clicky too. Um, and then we're Mr. looking. Mr. Hooper, that this... actually, while you're do... before you do that, could you grab me these couple of pieces? There's this little door, and we're also looking for a a slipper in yellow. Oh, one of those. Yeah, we, we call them slippers. Yep. Okay. There we okay, go. now I'm going to focus good. on this for a second here. All right, good luck. A little, good luck. All right, we're putting the little slipper is going over here, and then this little door, at least little door. Now I know they, I have a bunch of these in pink. They used them in some friends things. So, um, there you go. Um, I'm not bad mouthing Teddy Ruxpin. I'm just going. I'm I am going backwards through the history of animated talking toys that you had in your, in your, uh, in your place, or uh, have... in our lives. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab. Sorry, I'm gonna get this well... from you. You can move it around. Do you need me to do it? No. Okay. I can make the Mr. Sure. Hooper tile. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Th and this medium blue color Cinderella we now have. Blue. The snot Well, this isn't the Cinderella blue. This is medium blue. And we have it now in the snot piece oh, on two darker. corners. I like how that That's blue awesome. goes with grays and rocks. Okay, yeah, it looks so really nice. There's our Mr. Hooper tile, our Mr. Hooper sticker. Very good. Pretty close. I will put him... I would call... That's perfect. That's not uh, pretty close. Well, all right. <laughs> Come on, we're looking at like a third of a millimeter. We're also off. looking at white on white, which right. is you know, a third of a millimeter. I think is acceptable tolerance. Well, so I, you know, we were talking about Mr. Hooper earlier, and I gotta say, this is one of the um, looking for an orange yellow one by one brick. Oh, there it is. And oh, I gotta oh, say, I see you have. I gotta bricks. say, one of the things um, that I will remember about Sesame Street is I remember when. Mr. Hooper died, and they actually did a whole episode, and it really taught um, it taught a lot of kids how to deal with stuff like that with um, with death, yep. and um, you know, because Big Bird was very upset that Mr. Hooper wasn't coming back, as as were we all. Yeah. Um, and I just, but I just remember them. Um, they didn't just let him, like you know, go quietly into the night. Like they actually like no. addressed it. And I think that was really important. That, that's um, the, the kind time. of, I think, thoughtful dealing with real issues that I've come to think of Mr. Rogers for too. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so we're gonna get a pink. It looks like we have a tile that looks like a, a piece of wood. It's got like a In printed tile. Color? Brown, the nougat or brown or dark tan or something. Okay, well we've got a lot of, what size is it? One by four. 
And we've got a lot of not printed one by four ones. Are you sure it's not a sticker? No, it would say. And I'm also looking for this. Yeah, it's definitely um, it's definitely not a well, sticker. You're on step thirty nine. Let me see here. Yep. Oh, okay, so it's just a one by four. I gotta. Yep. We there we go. No awesome. Turns. Oh, I love this one. This is this has been used in, in a bunch of sets. This is really cool. Um. Mr. Hooper, many, many, many years ago, Alex. <laughs> many, many years ago. Um, yeah. Uh, Bob Ford's here. Your dad's here. Hey, Dad. How's it going? Um, the photo from the from the episode is in the set in Big Bird's Nest. Yes, that's this. This is from this is the photo that they used, but as a minifig, which is awesome. Um, sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to. I, I didn't mean to give you any um, to make you sad or give you any Sesame Street spoilers. That was certainly no. Not it's my a intention. long, long, long time ago. Um, okay, so I'm still looking. I'm looking for a um, brown triangle tile. Brown triangle tile. A brown. Little... I don't see much in the way of brown. Or dark brown, maybe. Or maybe it's. Yeah. Oh, here. How about this one? And here's the fence. Ah, very good. I love here, these. I love these triangle these tiles. Out. I gotta say. Um. Something interesting. The drawing of Mr. Hooper in that episode was actually drawn by Carol Spinney, who played Big Bird until recently. Oh. That's very cool. I love that. Um. Oh my goodness. I never knew who played Big Bird. Oh yeah, this guy's he's been doing it. He did it forever and I think he only recently stopped doing it. Um you know, he did it for years. Remember there was the then there was that movie Follow That Bird. Um so there you go. There we go. Well, I mean, I think that's so great that they included um so much of that all these kinds of things in here. All right. What's well, a really Bird. loving treatment of the... Oh, yeah, Big Bird in China. Yeah. That's right. I forgot about that one. Um, how about this turquoise tooth or okay, teal I'm tooth? Okay, I'm going to stop separating and go back to this. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're on step 41 now. 41. It looks like we got some red pieces here. Oh, we got... Uh, so there should be a leaf here. Did you already grab that? I did not grab the leaf. There's that. And there's the clip. Which goes here. Leaf and... And it, we are definitely here working on Big Bird's Nest area. Which also used to house, right in front of it, Oscar's trash can. I but that does not actually... Scene report. We I know. We're working on Big Bird's We're Nest. We're working on Big Bird's Nest right now. Here we go. Got it. Oh, you got it. There's okay. some red pieces over here. And then um, we've got this oh. big tile. A big giant like tile. Like you used in your... You used one of those in your Ghost Rider. I still can't believe that was so silly. I can't. It was it. wonderful. Tell people about your ghostwriter. Oh, okay. So J.K. Brickworks has a little, um, like a plan for a little sort of spirograph technic thing that you turn it on and it draws like a little spirograph thing. So I like you know like you add a pen Cr into it, it and moves it around. So I made one, but I modded it to look like a haunted house. The and front didn't of you it. hook it up to? Did you hook it up to EV three? Um, yeah, I, it was it was it was uh, all done with uh, 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 power functions. Got it. Um, so I did the power functions, and then um, it has like an arm that sticks out, and the end of the arm I put the, a ghost minifigure on it, and it stuck out of the window of the house. So as the thing was drawing, it would move back and forth, and the ghost would float outside of the house. Well, and, and I, then little kids could have a drawing, right? Yeah. we showed it at Maker Fair. Yeah, we showed it at Mini Maker Fair, and I let the kids pick, like, what position, like, what hole it, like, the little uh, knob went into, and that said what kind of shape it would make. Ghostly and, drawing. And, and so I called it the Ghost Writer, because I'm ridiculous. Let's grab that these. Was so, that Mini Maker Fair was so fun. That was a lot of fun. I had um, I had put together one of the early EV3 projects. It's just an arm that comes over and it goes down and picks stuff up. 
and I tricked it out um, space theme wise and had it picking up space stuff. And oh, the kids went astronauts nuts all over it. Over it. And the they kids loved it. Right? They could operate the EV3, which basically just meant pressing the go button, but then it would go over and pick something up. And they were so happy. Kids jumped up and that down. That one kid, like jumping up and down and clapping, he was so excited yeah. about that. It was a very and we, cute. We met a little girl who had 3D printed her own um, costume pieces, right? I don't remember that, really. Yeah, we met her. She, it was her and her mom. She was maybe, I don't know, maybe she was 12. Um, wow. And, and she knew how to use their 3D printer they had and had made her own costume pieces that she had with her at Mini Maker Fair. Well, that's cool. Yep. Um, Let me see something. I okay, like... you need one of these. No, nope, that's right. Oh, I see. I'm ahead. Nope, that's not right. Uh-oh. No, it's just me. I'm going to, I got to fix something under here. Oh, we got this piece, which I always love. These rounded one by twos in pretty blue. Okay, I need to move something over down here. You know, I haven't made. I'd like to make one of those chain walls with the with these rounded pieces to help with the curves. You know that I've made them before with one by two Oops. bricks and cylinders. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of fancy footwork here for a second. Well, that yeah. looks, sure looks like dark blue. You all right there? Yep. I got it. I'm just going to... Um, a little shuffle ball change. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... Oy. I feel like I'm missing Here, I'm gonna, some... I'm going to move this over. Once again, no shame in having to go back and fix something that you screwed up. I don't think this is supposed to be... <sighs> This is frustrating. Do you need to just go back a few steps and take some stuff off that's in your way? Yeah. It's not good. Oh, it's not that spider bad. guy. That's all right. Spider guy. Spider guy. Does whatever a spider guy does. You got to work in fly there. Um, I think that this might be upside down. I feel like I'm looking for a dark blue um, two by four. And I don't see one anywhere. I only see regular blue. And I know they didn't swap out parts. Oh, speaking of regular blue, look what we've got here on the table. These guys in regular blue. Oh, yeah. I was just, you were troubleshooting and I pointed those out. Oh, sorry. I want to do one of those curved walls with them. That is, I do like that. Okay. Now we're back to, I think we're back in business now. Um, the one thing we're not in business is we have this 2x4 dark blue coming up, and I don't see it anywhere. 2x4 dark blue. That yeah, one? Does, oh, the one that's in your hand. It wasn't in my hand, actually. It was just sitting here. All right. Good. <laughs> Crisis averted. I know. Well, luckily I had to, you know, I screwed stuff up enough that you were able to, you know go back there i just think of it as creating labor opportunities where now i'm missing an orange um there was an orange plate that went here oh there it it's is on the bottom of that all right i thought that seemed a little flimsy i was like that's no good uh, uh, uh. i always have to say the last flimsy whenever you always whenever do you every time <laughs> it gets funnier every time it does well i find it humorous <laughs> At least one of us does. Um, who's getting Ninjago City Gardens? I will. I won't oh, be. Oh well, I won't be getting it tonight. But it is going to be. Uh, that's a thing that's going to happen. That's just, yeah, we're pulling in our horns a little bit since the holidays. Um, but that said, it's on the list. Yeah, it's that one's. We're be we're good. trying to avert our eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Here. now are we? Oh, we only need two of those. Okay, and a couple of two by threes. I'm looking for a purple brick brick, or a lavender brick brick. A lavender Here brick brick. Ooh, you guys, lavender brick. That's awesome. Now I've gotten in trouble with ones like that before, where we'll end up with somehow two hundred of those, but no two by one by twos. Yeah. Right, and then try to make a wall. Now, I will say that this one, one by one, 
Uh oh. Yeah, I will say this is a little right here. That's a little flimsy. They need a, there needs to be a little bit of something under there. Right what there. is there? There's no support on this side at all. Mm -mm. Interestingly, hmm. I know, right? Weird. Well, you could put something under there. The spider won't mind. This, it's now up. I love. Look at this. No one is ever gonna see it. You can barely see the in spider there. inside. The spider the... on the web there. He's in there. He's down there. She's, and if you actually, she's in there. It's funny if you tip it down. That's what I'm thinking. And then You'll why don't you see take it this more? Chance to mod the set. Just oh, you can't mod the set. No, nope, there's no room. I, I think it tipping it down is better. But yeah, that's like that seems. And if we put a brick with a hole in the back, we could put a light in there. Yeah, there's some. This is a little funky. I gotta say. Oh, you could put something underneath that. But let's. We'll just but let's just keep the way we're gonna keep felt. moving forward. Yep. There we go. I mean, Lego right. designers have a pretty good track record of making stuff that stays together. Yeah, indeed. All right. Shall we, we move a lot on? Of pieces here. We do have a lot of pieces. I'm I'm catching up. I'm catching up best as I can. Oh, don't feel bad. I'm just glad that I'm not um, holding you up. Okay, I need some blue quarter round tiles, it looks like. Uh, are they tombstones or quarter rounds? Tombstones, sorry. How many do you need? I have a bunch. I need four of them, please. Oh, I see. You're starting on step 46. Yes, I got. I already did 45, or 43. But you missed. No, you missed step 45. I'm on 44 right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's all very confusing, isn't it? Um, well, so that's why I'm wondering, oh, you needed those in that step too. Okay. Yeah. We're on the same page, literally. Are we? It was a close one. Okay. Good to know. All right. Now we're getting with, now we're getting into some tan here. <laughs> you say that with such significance. So, okay, now we're getting into some tan. Um, Kermit the Frog here. Oh, yeah, Lavender Masonry Brick. It's true. Very, very cool. I don't know if that's new to this. Like, I feel like I've seen that before, but I also feel like it's pretty rare. I feel like, like you I've don't seen, seen it before, too. Often. Um, okay. This guy. And here. I've um, never been into Ninjago, trying to stay away. Yeah, I, I'm not super into Ninjago itself, but I really do. Um, well, we yeah. don't we don't know much about the mythology or stories behind it, right? We, right, but we're we just in love like with the, the style. Arch the architecture is so amazing. So Joel says, um, the pinball countdown was your most anticipated as a kid. Me too, Joel. Me too. That was absolutely my favorite. I was so into that. I just learned... Now, what, was it on Sesame Street? It wasn't part of Schoolhouse Rock. It was on Sesame Street, right? What's Big, that? Figure eight. That was Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, mixing up my mixing yeah. up my media there. Um, but um, well, it was counting. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes. Oh, and I know I've I've talked about this before, and I should. Well, see, that's the thing is I can't play it. Maybe I could do my rendition for you. Um, a one by two blue. Um, One by plate? two blue plate is right here. Uh, so I I have I know I've told this story before and I apologize because we've only got three stories. You should be check this out. Of this yourself. look at this thing. Yeah, this is really cool. So here, let me pull in a little bit closer up. Come back this way. Here, let me just take these right. off so I can uh, see. It's a little blurry style, but, yeah, it's you, okay. but you see the... Oh, look there at that. Go. So check out here, we're using these little ones with the loops on, and we're putting a quarter or a tombstone on either side of it. And... Oh, a Hooded One's box of Mario Series 2 has been nailed. Oh, yay! yay. Very good. Um... Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So I have a Count album called The Count Counts, and it has The Count. We'll have to go and, back to Yeah, it focus. has The Count and Cookie Monster singing a duet of If I Knew You Were Coming Out of Baked a Cake, and it was back when um, Cookie Monster if, still... If me knew you were coming out of Baked, baked, baked a cake. cake. Yep. And it's really good. It's an amazing rendition. 
But oh, I have to. Yeah. If I do it for you, that means I have to play both characters, which can be difficult. <laughs> You're up to the task. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to embarrass myself. The, the multi-voice um, challenge on that on that level. Maybe you need to warm up first. Well, it's the changing back and forth between the voices that's the hardest part, because <laughs> they're very different voices. <laughs> very, very different voices. And if you ever had any question about my, you know, my sanity, that would all be answered in that in that moment. <laughs> you basically have all the Muppets commenting in your head. Twenty-four-seven, right? pretty much everything I do, including including Janice. Oh, well, Janice, she's got, she's there a lot. She's awesome. <laughs> she, she was part of the Electric Mayhem. Yes, it's true. Um, although, never on Sesame Street, only no. on The Muppet Show. Yep. All right, so it looks like we're making a little bed here, because this is the, this is a, a, a good, usually a good indication of bed. Is these little curved what, when pieces. You, when you see a bed-shaped thing? Well, no, these little curved... I mean, like, this now, is pretty is this, classic Lego. Is this going to be Bert and Ernie's bedroom? I don't know. Because that's, no, because that's their would, major set Because pieces, it would have it? two... It would have two beds. Oh, it would it be... Was, they'd be twin beds side to side. Bernie, Bernie and Ert. Which my dad called them once, and I remember laughing so hard. Bernie I, and Ert. Like, I nearly cried. Um, I know. When we're kids, it's all hilarious, right? Yeah, um, fortunately, we maintained exactly the same sense of humor since then. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, oh, we're making a bedside go. table now. Oh, I do love a good bedside with a, table. With a 70s pop orange lamp. So check it out, everybody. This is what we got so far. There's our... We're starting to build a little bedroom. We've got um, Mr. Hooper over here by near where Big Bird's Nest is. Well, who who gets a bedroom? Oh, hey! Ahoy, ahoy, Christopher Coster. How's it going? Um, glad you were able to uh, finish up your conference call and come join us. All right, so it looks like a... Yeah, I'm going to tattle on Christopher Coster a little bit and, is there... and say that he makes beautiful watercolors. You may not right. have, you may not have known that. He does beautifully color mixed watercolors. So we're still looking for a two by two round in blue, two and two um Oh two snuff. a one by two brick and two headlight bricks. Okay, here's the headlight bricks, a one by two brick. And a two by two round. A two by two round plate. What? A plate in blue. I'm not seeing that right away. Do you, is that something you have over there? Mm-hmm. Nope. Oh, two by two round. Look, I'm seeing square. Yes. Here we go. You're all ready for Friday's challenge, apparently. All right, so we're going to make a little bedside table here. With the 70s pop orange lamp. Look at that. Werner Panton. There you go. Bedroom. We're going to put that here, right on top of those. Oh, that makes a cute little uh, thing there. Cute little, look at that, little little bedside table. Very nice. Um, all right. That's okay. Elmo's room. Got it. Okay, that's probably why I don't recognize well, Elmo it. Elmo has like a, well, I guess it's twin. It looked so big until he got there. Yeah, I know. Oh. All right. So, how about 53? Well, Elmo can't have a chair in his room because... His legs don't bend. It's true. Um, what here, right? You you sure you're not doing fifty two right now? Um, I'm pretty sure I'm doing fifty two right now. <laughs> we're gonna finish off those steps, right? And then and we're gonna do three. some little corner business here. Oh, two corners here. I don't always I do look at the good quantity, corner right? I see, oh, that piece. Yeah, it's probably, probably should do yeah, that. Yeah, it's helpful, actually, <laughs> I find. All right, there we go. Dark red. Very good. Snot right. piece. Oh, Oops, sorry, Elmo. Elmo. Um, 
Ernie is one of my favorites. The current person who plays Ernie um, has been for a few years now. Sounds almost exactly like Jim Hansen. It's uncanny. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, okay. I'm not seeing this. It looks like a dark tan corner plate. Oh, look at that. Right there. All right. Oh, yeah, this is a little funky, isn't it? So we've got... Uh oh sticker time. A one by one. You want to get started on those? Yes. Now, they look big, so it's, it's two now, larger stickers, right? Yeah. Now, I'm going to leave you on your own here for a minute while okay. I... Okay. While you do stickers. Yeah, we're going to push this up. Out of and I way. actually find that the... I find that the bigger stickers can be more difficult. You know, well, they're less forgiving because you're trying to make parallel lines over a long distance. Right. right. Okay, I'm gonna. I didn't use, I think, enough Windex last time. Well, that's because you. Um, I think you sprayed on the cotton swab, and yeah. then you need to spray directly onto the onto the item, and then wipe off the excess with the. Uh, right, using a brick separator, having it on the corner. And that goes on the dark red. Very nice. All right, so we got okay, this little piece, which is gonna go here to tie the. the oh, oh no! Oh no! Sorry. <laughs> Ah, close Goodness. one. <laughs> um, the corner there. Okay, I have a lot of Windex this time, so I'm going to have to squish it out. Well, you, you can wipe some off with the... That's okay. It certainly gives you more room. To... Right? The That's only problem close, with, but not The only quite. problem with too much Windex is that sometimes it'll just slide... A whole thing will just slide right off, which is Yeah, but horrifying. I was totally able to... Um... Look at that! Look at that big Beautiful. sticker... Pretty close. Those look like pretty parallel lines to me. That Maybe I can really good. I think. slip up a little bit. Very good. Right? Oh, yeah. Windex method. Yay! Windex. Thanks, Clicky. <laughs> He's all misty eyed today. I'm a little sad. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, he no, he's just so moved that he's able to help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, he's about to help again. Okay, hang on a second here. Whoa, I gotta... Mm, be careful now. Slide there it off. Go. What's going on now? Oh, yeah, another right sticker. There. Uh, yeah, but this is tough. This is on the inside. Okay, of and the not only is it on the inside, but it's inside, like, up at the top edge. Not, like, completely touching the top Oh, and edge. they don't it's even show down. you the top edge. No, you just gotta kind of, kind of guess. Oh, but... Oh, and you can't, these aren't 3D instructions. Okay, so this is sticker 15. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and move move ahead with some building here. Although I am looking for a, two slopes and another corner piece. Okay, I got this right here. Would you mind handing me two the tan slopes. pieces? Yeah. So. Uh, okay, so we've got the two corner, or, you know, the corner with the cutoff edge. We've got a couple of slopes, like longer slopes, these guys. Okay. And that's what's going to get us. So do you think our... this goes all the way up? I think maybe just do it a, a teensy little, bit below like the edge. Like two millimeters down Yeah, like you would when you would normally, like you would center one. You, it would there'd be that little teeny bit when of you think about that. border. That looks awesome. Great. So I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just going to let it dry. That sounds good. Oh, and this actually goes out, not in, like this. And a snot piece goes here. Fear not the stickers. Oops, sorry, I'm all hidden there. Um, forgive my adultness, but is Sesame Street still on these days with new material? It is. It is, actually. Um, yes. Um, oh, this... okay, here's your sticker. That, that looks so awesome. Oh, and I right. and, and once it dries, and it's even more difficult because it's like slightly it, maybe it's an optical it's illusion. It's kooky, but it's kooky, isn't it? Is yeah. it a little kooky? Wow. Yeah, it's All like right. at a kooky angle. All right, so that's yeah, gonna I'm go gonna here. Take these back. You already got your step fifty-five. So here we go. You did right. Um, I did step 55, yes. We're on to 56 now. Okay. Boink. 
Okay, here. Ooh, this will be fun. There'll be some little... Oh, we've got... A, somewhere there's a lavender heart. Look at that. I mean, a pink heart. Yep, a pink heart. On a, on a purple brick. Uh, yeah, a purple snot. Kind of lavender. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, it is actually medium lavender, whatever you want to call it. So there's a little pink and purple. We're gonna put it here on the end. Right there. Right, so... There's a little picture. Oh, I just... Ooh, I just like scratched my nose with my fingernails. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, just a flesh wound. Okay. I need a regular brick. A regular Where? tan brick, a one by one, instead oh, of this one. Oh, I see. It must have been turned away. It's been turned away. All right, and then wow, where that does that moment became dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> um, where is it? Oh, I think you must be a step ahead of me. Yeah, and then a little, we want a little bracket. Kelly bracket? Dr. Kelly bracket, emergency. There, I just said it for you. Thank you. Um, and a tile. Rampart, we have an emergency. And we're making two of these. So okay. So why don't you make another one of those? Um, but I do need a one by one tile. Oh, a one right by here. one. I got it. Thank there you. There we go. All right, so we're making two of these little guys. Oh, so these, check it out. These are going to be the um, the front end of the steps. You know what I'm excited about for this? I'm going to make me some Gordon and Susan custom minifigs. Gordon and Susan were my favorite from the original Sesame Street, especially Susan, because she had that amazing afro. I was so <laughs> into her hair. She had, like, the big afro. I even had her... Um, she had like an album that she did like on her own and that I had as a kid and I really loved it. Um, is this a, t a two by four? I think this is a two by four we're looking at here. Let's oh, Sesame Street started in 1969. So yeah, 50 years, which yeah. is why a part of the reason that they that they did end up doing this set is because it coincided with the 50th anniversary. Well, I was born in 66. So, you know, I would have been right in that age during, when, when, it when first Sesame came on. Street was going super starters. Oh, Luis and Maria. They were my, I liked all of them. Although Bob kind of creeped me out because he was a little bit like, a little too much like Mr. Rogers, but wasn't Mr. Rogers. Wasn't Bob a little like Neil Sedaka? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, you're right. Oh my God. <laughs> Um, there's one more, uh, clip. There there's go. a name you don't hear every day. Yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a clip. One, uh, one by one tan clip. On a brick? The one that's on the brick you're talking about? Uh, We're on 59. No. Oh, you already did yeah, 58? Yeah, I already, yep. Okay, 58's all there done. we go. So, one of these, one of these... Ooh, now this is going to be, here's some some tricky building, you know. It's going to be a corner plate, a corner brick. Oh, we need a brick with a clip. Another corner plate. Do you have the brick with a clip by any chance? Uh, I don't. Uh-oh. And then there's this. Oh, they're together. They're disguised. Then there's one that goes this way, and then there's a snot piece, a one by one. Here we have them all pre-stacked. That goes this way. All right, so we have this funky little like corner with a clip in it, and that's gonna go. Um, right? Is that right? No, something seems not right here. Oh, that's the side. Now we're gonna do another one for the other side. Okay. But this one's gonna be kind of different. Kind of. You need another one of those <laughs> bricks. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, I need a couple of snot pieces. Right. And then here. Two more ones. Oh. There we go. A one by one. Oh, nope, that's a snot piece. Those a are one stacked. by ones. Then we're gonna do this and another and a clip. Is that right? Yes, a clip. Oh, look, we're getting colorful now. In here. Oh, and now I'm gonna flip it around and then another snot piece here. And a one by one. I just need a one by one plain brick. I know you handed it to me, but 
Here's one. Seems to have disappeared. There we go. There we go. Oh, uh, Christopher Cosmer is asking if you watched Sesame Street as a kid. So I absolutely. I watched um, as a little kid. I watched. Well, as a real little kid, I watched Bozo the Clown when I was just like a toddler. Because I, I know boy. I had Bozo the Clown fork and knife. That, <laughs> Get your wheelchair as, as a little Gramps. kid. Sorry, I, you know I was born in '66. But as a, I remember watching. Um, Sesame Street, The Electric Company, Zoom. Yes, Zoom um, was awesome. And Mr. Rogers. Zoom was definitely awesome. So zoom, 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 zoom. Now that was from Canada, I believe. No, remember they always give the um, the zip code at the end of it. Oh, that's uh, right, it was Boston. Oh, Boston, two, Mass. One, three, four. But I thought there was some, Canada had something to do with that. I'm almost positive. Some one by three bricks, there should be three of them. Okay. And a single one by one tan brick. A one by one tan brick is right here. Okay. One by one tan. Yeah, as much as I loved going to the yeah. land of make believe, nothing compared with Muppets, right? Like, yeah. I mean, and Mr. Rogers is one of my heroes. So Lady Elaine and, you know, and Daniel Striped Tiger and all them. You know, really, Lady Elaine Fairchild wonderful. and her museum go her round. <laughs> museum go round, and she was like a Judy puppet. She was the from pup, she Punch would, and Judy. She was right? terrifying. She had a big hook nose. It was like red on the end. I'm yep. not gonna say what she was doing there, but it's, Lady Elaine was awesome. Lady Elaine Fairchild, um, and then she would do the. Um, she had like a spell. She was like a witch, right? Oh, she did have a spell. Yes, and she had a little spell that she would she would do. Like an incantation. All right, so we got stickers again. Aren't you excited? I am. What Here, okay. So So the orange one gets the picture of Elmo. Oh, we've got three in a row. Oh, my goodness. Two in a row. Okay. Um, the orange one gets the picture of Elmo and Elmo's dad together. And then the red one gets um, this <laughs> one. Elmo's dad is very funny. The red one gets that one. Okay, well, we're going to do With those characters that I don't recognize. Um, didn't Bozo scare a lot of kids? Yeah. What is Zoom? Oh, Zoom is awesome. Amazing. Um, Zoom was an awesome show. It was like a kid's show. It was all live action. Yeah. Um, and, gotcha. you know, that's where we learned Ubby Dubby language. Wubbit Abar Not that anybody Tabakubbing about. Oh, gosh. I can't believe you can do that. I never then, was able to do that. And the other thing out. they did was this. Yes, it was Bernadette. She did that thing. <laughs> now do you remember it? Because that's really going to help. <laughs> wow, Christopher is like the lone person in chat right now. <laughs> like, everybody is like completely Everyone silenced. else said, you lost me in 1960s <laughs> I mean, American television. I know. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Um, okay, so... Oh, whoa, I got that really crooked, and I was able to reposition it. Oh, uh oh, you're in trouble. Do you want me to do that? What the repositioning? We're all busy building. Exactly. You want me to do that? Uh, I don't know. That one's that kind one. of off center. That's okay. But look at the edge of the sticker itself. Well, it's hard because the edge of the sticker is orange and the plate is orange as yeah. well. So I'm gonna do this other one. I'm gonna with the two like Fraggle Rocksters. I don't think they're Fraggle Rock. No, not in Sesame Street. There. there we go. I mostly fixed it. I went fast on it. And it yeah, see and it that stuck. you can't do that. No, you have to take your time. You have to take your time and do it right. Just like the song. Um, you can do it, baby. <laughs> yeah, it a little, you need to go there. But yeah, so there we go. There is Elmo and Elmo's dad. Um, Zoom was a 70s show, like the Electric Company. Yeah, although I gotta say, like it was, it was hit, it was hipper back then, right? Um, no, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm not, it's not a problem. I know people uh, do other stuff while the show was on. I just thought it was funny. There was like a long string of Christopher talking, and then and like nothing else, which was great. Here, there um, we go. Glomping, Monica Berry, glomping. I don't remember glomping. I don't remember. I think chomping, glomping, glamping. I know glamping. Um, well, I, hopefully not too well. 
You wouldn't do that. You would never do that. You're a real camper. No, I don't glamp, but I do decorate the campsite to make it fun and inviting. Exactly. How many kimonos do you need? <laughs> <laughs> I don't own a kimono. Um, okay. I do have a sarong. So right. Oh okay. no! How about we? How about sorry. we start with this? I'm sorry about that. Here, why don't we? Why don't we go for here? What? Which step number is 62. that? Sixty-two. Sixty-two, indeed. Sixty-two. Okay, we've got some snot pieces here. Now I'm actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to go and go to work pretty soon here. Yeah. Um, I um, think Zoom, the online platform, should use the intro video. Come on and Zoom. They should. They absolutely should. I would be so into that. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom, 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 a zoom. Okay, Flynn, I'm not gonna make it through this bag. I just realized that's okay. We um, won't make it through the bag. It's short. Come on, give it a try. We're gonna teach you to fly. Hi, come on and zoom, 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 a zoom. There, you've gotten. Uh, there's a lot. We've had lots of TV song. Um, I mean, TV show. Royalty-free singing somewhere near this. Apparently. Place. Look, four of these. Come and play. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Friendly neighbors say that's where we'll meet. Won't you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street. How to get to Sesame Street. And they went up running along How to get to Sesame Street. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. There was, I mean, how could we get through it without doing that? I don't think we could. Um, I'm missing and a telephone. Do you have that? A telephone? A telephone. Um, no. I, I know there's... I did see the I did see it earlier, earlier, yeah. Oh, it's right there. Um, did you get the two tan one-by-two plates and the two, uh... Nougat one by two tiles. I didn't, but I will now. Let's see. I got these. There you go. And then it's like watching Boone with all the singing. Well, I, you know, I can. Only you know, hope he can sing a lot higher than I can. That's for sure. Um, and he projects. You know, Boone isn't the only one that sings. I'm just saying. You, you project. I sing. I sing a lot. Probably more than I should. <laughs> no, not enough. I love listening to him. Too. Like if he's. All right, thanks, Zach Martinez. We'll see you later. Practicing um, ukulele and singing makes me super happy. All right, so we're going to do, let's get through, um, we'll get through step 65, and then I think we're going to call it a day. Okay. Um, so that's just a little bit more to go. King Sunny a day. We're going to do, what? You don't know about King Sunny a day? Uh, is, is this a history lesson we no, want to go does, into right um, now? If I remember, King Sunny Ade was a Nigerian musician who made really, really happy, wonderful music. King Sunny Ade. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, look, we made a little oldie tiny telephone. That's very cute. Yeah, <laughs> crash course in U.S. culture. Look at that. Yeah, we made it through our first five years. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love that little phone. Like, it's like a payphone. Yay, group sing-along. Payphone? I remember payphones. What's that? And they had, they had these big books with them. Didn't they have big books? Yes. Well, I the big to... books that were always chained to the inside with, like, a really strong piece of metal wiring um, so that you couldn't steal the phone yeah. book. But everyone did anyway. The yellow pages, the white pages. No one had a cell phone. Play My dad that. had an early cell phone, actually. He had a phone in his car. Oh, really, like the really giant one? Like really your head? early on. Well, he was big into CB radio, too, so he was all about communication. Breaker Breaker 1-9, we got a convoy. Yep. That was the best part of the of the CB craze was that song. I'm that song by C.W. McCall? Yes. I have it on 45. I do, too, or I did. We got a great big convoy rocking, rocking through the night. We got a great big convoy, ain't she a beautiful sight? Come on and join our convoy, nothing's gonna get in our way. We're gonna roll this truckin' convoy across the USA. Convoy! <laughs> <laughs> All right, see, there's Wow! One. That wow. is amazing, that goes back away. 
Put the pedal to the metal. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, and your dad was known as Fireball. That he was, was. That CB name. Yeah, he was. He was Fireball. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and it even he he printed it in rub on letters on the back of the camper. You know, with the CB radio antennas and all that, it said Fireball right in the back <laughs> on the back of the camper. <laughs> That was great. Christopher Coster says we should record an album. Only if we can do If I Knew You Were Coming, I'd have baked, baked a cake. cake in the style of <laughs> Cookie Monster and the Count. Then I will be, I'll be, I'll totally there. Oh okay. My I have well, lost track of this model. Well, that's okay. We have finished, uh, we have finished the, what we said we were going to do. Um, here we've got the beginning of the apartment building. Um, I'm really, I'm loving this model already. It's been so much fun and I've felt so cheerful and full of laughs. And I hope that. You are all cheerful and full of we laughs. We hope you are too. We hope you have a day that's, you know, um, and I'm sorry for all the singing. Relaxing. Yes, I do, that the rest of your day is relaxing. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Your, well, that was fun. Monica Barry says my dad used to do a Kermit impression on TV <laughs> radio, and he had a puppet. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Um. Well, gosh, I hope that we put on stickers live. We did. We put on stickers live. We sang. It was like a whole new Tricky Bricks. Yep. What about that? Um, we'll see if we get shut down or not. Well, Ses <laughs> Sesame Street is is a uh, big and you know inspirational. It's pretty cheerful and inspirational. So and I colorful. hope um, we hope that you all had a good time uh, today. I know we certainly did. That really cheered me up. Um, and let me see if I if let's see if I set this one up right. Okay. Um, if Good you luck. want to get a hold of us, uh, uh, yeah, you can find us on Instagram at Tricky Bricks. Uh, you can email me at Flynn at trickybricks.com with questions, issues, what have you, uh, and hopefully no issues. Me too. You can email us, Flynn, or, or you can send us through snail mail, Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box 11517, Oakland, California, 94611. Woo, there you go. Um, I hope, uh, you know that sort of, um, uh, legato at the end there. Uh, um, be Christian. <laughs> Um, but uh, thank you everybody so much for joining us today don't forget to let your friends know we are doing a subscription drive mm -hmm. when we finally hit 2,000 subscribers look at it we're at 1920 we're back at 1920 it's true 80 more subscribers and we'll be giving away uh, that monkey, monkey king, king monkey king, king warrior, warrior mech, mech. Oh, I'm gonna get it so right close. one, one of day days. one day um, uh, so I hope you find that rainbow connection today I know we will. Um, I hope that the rest of your day can be filled with smiles and fun and laughter. We had a great time hanging out with you guys. Um, so don't forget, until next time, don't forget to stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask. Don't forget to turn in your, uh, get the flu shot, yes, and don't forget to turn in your um, challenge photos by tomorrow at 5 p.m. PST, and we will be back on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific time uh, to look at everybody's um, uh, submissions for the challenge. We'll see you then. That. Hold your friends and loved ones close, and happy building. All right. Bye, everyone.